welcome back to another episode of me playing Nintendo. And this time, I'm playing a game I have never even touched before. And I just got it. So, let's see how this game is. It's called Goosebumps, in case you didn't know. Better beware, you're in first there. Okay. Goosebumps. Play this game. I'm going to select this file. Alright, I'm going to name my character Fluffles. Okay, you know what? Not Fluffles. That's just going to be taking away from my YouTuber's name. Um, uh, let's see. I'll be back with you after this moment. Just it took me about like five or ten minutes, but I finally thought of my name. It's here. Boy or girl? Let's go with girl. <laughs> headphones are recommended to fully enjoy the game. Well, you know what? If we're get, if we're headphones are recommended, this guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop the stuff. Hey, for a while we know the lock up. Okay, whatever. I heard that before. Whatever. Just finish up packing the stuff and I'll head back for the before to something which I couldn't read. Who hires a moving company to move out in the middle of that? Whatever. Just be glad someone did. We needed a job. <laughs> so what about that girl? Should I call her or not? This whole booth operator? You ain't got no chance. <laughs> it's probably for the best anyway. Looks like our okay. Hey, you ever get creeped out driving late at night like this? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's late. Everyone's asleep. Spot it. Be that stinks out from the shadows. This better not be about the haunted car again. It's real. Real, maybe, but not haunted. Well, it seemed haunted at that time. You can't steer me with that story. I already heard it a million times. Well, good. It's not even my biggest, hairiest smile. Whatever. Evil genie? Or that one. Okay, well. Zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. You don't need to talk with a ton of What was that? I don't know what it was, guys. So, you gonna open it? Oh, I ain't open it. You're opening it? Okay, whatever. But there's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it? Just open the door already. Oh God, I can't see anything. Satisfied? Looks like you got in your tail of horror. Now of the tipped over box. Not funny. Oh, there's someone there. What's it, what's it, what is it? Some kind of kid? Oh, <laughs> what? It's just a ventral kiss dummy. Who are you calling dummy, dummy? And that box was never opened. They were never found. The next day. Finally, school's out for the day and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. Those clouds look pretty bad though. But it's supposed to rain today? At least we can talk now. You go to check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere. But where? Why do I have a key? You can examine your inventory by moving the cursor to an object or area and press the A button, then choosing it. Then choosing look on the drop down. Okay, so this is probably our cursor. Hopefully I've escaped this place. Oh, maybe we could use it over here. No, oh, it's a locker key. So what can I click on here? Okay. Move. 
By the heavy sigh, you trudge back inside. The long, empty hall stretches into the distance. You stop near your old, your, tr your lock, trusty old 42, 402. Huge. You turn the key and the lock pops open easily. You slide it off and open the lock. Okay. So this is what I have. Stickers. You put these stickers up at the start of the year and are already sick of them. Your brother was right. The only thing more permanent than tattoos are stickers. Stick carefully. Wow. Okay. So then what's next? Uh, cell phone? Take. You grab your cell phone and cradle it pr protectively against your chest. You're afraid you'd lose it. Calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a voicemail. You click play. Hi, Aras. It's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later tonight. The clients want to take us to dinner. Chad should be pretty home pretty soon, so you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember, the key is under the back steps. Love you. Put these stickers on, okay. What's this? Have to feel book out the lock, but really. Slam the locker shut. Okay. Awesome is seriously the last place you feel like going right now. I'll check out through the hall. What in the world do you want? It sounds like this is true. Can't you a woman read in peace? Let me think away from me. She didn't see you. Move. Mm -hmm. Glad to leave the school building for the second time today. In front of your school, the gate's full of I'm sure you should be able to come and go as you need. No phone in your hand, you can now have time. Your phone has lost your gift. So call your mother, brother, or information to receive your games. You can choose several different play modes, including single Joy Con and motion control. If you're unsure of the controls in your current mode, dial information from your phone menu. Alright, let's leave. Move. Do I have my own car, please? Then? Oh! Okay, that's cool. Open, gross, push. If the smell didn't deter you, the cockroaches gathering across the dumpsters are when you do. Dusty path, move. Head down the path towards the giant shed. It's more overgrown than you expect. By the time you reach the shed, the ones picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks getting from the cold. Okay. Weed killer. You carefully tuck the weed killer into your bag, checking that it that it sets off to off. An item was added to your inventory. You can felt it with the A button or via touch from for additional use the item or whatever. It's not the same one. You hurry back to onto the I don't want to go to the parking lot. There's so much more over there. Oh, what kind of move there? I think we missed something here. You see? What's the point of a shot if he's going to leave all the stores outside? Come 
Alright, I'll get back to you when I find something. After five or ten minutes again, I found something. Woods. Now let's walk into the woods. We've been playing in the woods since we were little. You used to reenact re the movies with your brother before he grew up. You have grown up yourself. You mainly use the woods as a shortcut cut from school. Move there. You hike up the well-worn path into the woods. And the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. What's this? Wire. Look. Oh no, it looks like somebody lost their dog. Poor kid. Can we take it? You pull the flower off the tree just in case you find a similar dog. Can we go any further? Move. You cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. Can we go too deep? You reach a small clearing surrounded by trees. On all sides, there's a weird guy creeping around. I've never seen him before. No? Use. Oh, nine. Don't you to weak killer and pump this? What? Chokesha! Now he retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down and cowering. Talk to him. He doesn't seem to be particular. Let's use more weed killer. Weed killer carefully and prepare the fire, but think better of it. Out the flower. Have you seen this dog short brown fur and about seven years old? Oh. Alright, I'll get back to you when something can pull uh, off. Like uh, 20 minutes, you finally figured out that you can go deeper. Left path or right path. Can we go back? Can we move to the left path? Leaves crunch under your feet as you walk down the path. Okay. It is the end of your wood. You can get to your neighborhood just up the hill. There's some kind of commotion going, kind of commotion near the tunnel. I'm gonna use weed killer. Tissue fire bubble. Okay, what if I use this on the crowd? Why don't we go over there? Speak. What's going on with Tyler Ash? No business, Tyler Ash. Oh, be quiet, Tyler Ashley. Oh, and by the way, shout out to Tom. He was the person that actually commented down below in the third episode of me playing Nintendo. Shout out to him. You can see his comment. He said, good. Um, I don't remember what he said, but he, he was really complimenting. But I said, thanks, man. I replied to him. And Tyler Alshaf, just, just mind your own business too, man. Speak. So I thought it was clear as Tyler said. We found it first. Get lost. Found what? A bunch of kids from school are gathered around. They so I was clear, Tyler says. The crowd draws in tighter. We found it first. Get lost. It's clear. Okay. So they're not going to be doing anything. Oh, there is uphill. Move uphill. With large steps, you hike up this slow slope to your neighborhood. Almost home. You think as you step into your neighborhood, your spirits fall immediately when you notice an accident down the street. Oh, that was from before. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Van. Move into the van. Into the wrecked moving van. 
Karen says around you see a ton of bark in the audience. I want to take half of this stuff. Spin. Spin, spin, spin. You don't have to keep your distance, you gotta go over. Oh, okay. So I'll go to handle when you slide. You do manage to. May I approach from Boba? If I knew. I'll be right around a bit. But yeah, let's see. I think I should move up here, okay? Oh, shrunk head. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Uh, what did we get? Oh yeah. Ew. I got a shrunken head. Well, you never know what you're gonna use it on. Look at the scarecrow. A really imposing scarecrow. Empty eyes, dry hair, threadbare hat. What is that? A portrait. Looks like a fancy portrait, though. It's too dark to see much detail. It's too dark, so I can't even see this. Hope the audience can see it, though. I'm trying it. Okay. What else? Who's that? Boxes. You'd feel pretty nosy opening these boxes. They're probably full of socks and underwear anyway. Give me one sec, guys, okay? Just give me a quick second. So I can do this. Oh my god, that, that looks much better. Anyway, anyway. So we got a shrunken head. I'm gonna name him... Let's take some books. A decent looking book and dust it off shrugging your put you place it in your back. Okay, okay, sure, let's do this then. Let's do this. Let's use this book on coffin. You open the book approximately in its center. Slam shut as hard as you can. What if we use that shrunken head? Onto the coffin, my shrunken head forward, vibrating inside of your hand. Okay. You grow increasingly glazy when you put it away and decide to put it away. Okay, so that's probably not going to do anything. Well, you know what? Let's move back to the streets. Probably people don't seem more concerned about the action. I just picked up a head and a book from there, man. You think they'd be interested in that? I'm gonna smell them. Time you decide it can't hurt. You take a deep breath of rose. It smells like cherry soda. Well, if they do smell like it. If they do smell like it, then let's pick one. You kneel down and carefully pick a blue rose. Ouch! There are some sharp thorns. Smell them. Check me a time you decide you can smell a cherry soda, whatever, yada yada, so on and so forth. Long look. Mr. Hadden's perfect, perfectly manicured on is a staple of the street. You see him take care of it every Saturday. Use. I'm gonna use the weed for a moment. They're over to the Rex moving van. And you know what? From there, I think. Yes. You feel like you shouldn't be here and decide to creep away. Keep more control about the accident. Right on the hill back into the woods. Great. This is part of the one. Just below your neighborhood, the creek flows into a huge drain pipe. There's a crowd here, wasn't there? You kneel down and look into the rabbit's eyes. Hey there, little fella. <laughs> Said the rabbit, tear surprise. 
I thought those brutes would never leave. I might as well. There's a flash of the eye. With a flash of white, the rabbit disappears into the brush. Well, if he disappeared into a brush, continues through the tunnel, you hear a faint rush echoing through the other side. Yeah, whatever. Let's look into the pipe tunnel first. The tunnel is actually a large drain pipe. The water inside stinks like the old socks. In the van, probably. Move. Build your nose and swab into taking care to avoid stepping onto the water. You creep into the tunnel. The natural darkness closing around. You have what you're halfway through. You wonder if you'll make it. And push on. This wasn't run. This wash run is behind many of the houses on the streets. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk that people have thrown out here. Oh, cool. So let's get this wheel. Spin the wheel. You should hear the hub of the wheel and spin it with one hand. Seems fine. It clicks and everything. What? How is that possible? A chimney. Chimney? How did the chimney even get here? Exactly. What is that? It's a wash, okay? A steady stream of water flows out, out of the pipe across the river bed of stones and cement. You turn and scan the roofs of the neighborhood. Chimneys all accounted for. Whose is this? It's exactly what I'm asking to myself, pal. Move. You hop across the rock to the far end and stroll into your neighborhood. Finally. What the hell is that? Weed killer. What the heck? It takes several large gaps. <gasps> I'm trying to calm down. That dog attacked as soon as he entered the neighborhood. Thank God it's on a leash. Weed killer. You get on the angry dog. Oh God. Split the second yank. Oh God. Do you think I can use it on the woman? You down at the item in your hand as if to say, get that ridiculous thing out of my face. What is this? Mailboxes. Open. Shouldn't open other people's mailboxes. Yours is on the hand. Lock is open. Oh, you probably mean your house, neighbor's house, the girl who lives. Open this one. You open your mailbox, hoping there's something in there for you. Okay, what's this? Coupons. Take them. Flip the coupons into your bag. Take that too. You take the letter out of the mailbox. You shut the mailbox. Oh, do I have... Yeah, I know my low battery's 10. Uh, do I have to go... Move further down the street into the front where you're at what used to be a house? I'm gonna be right back, okay? Hold on. Okay. Give me a quick minute, guys. Okay. Let's see. Open. You struggle with the knob, but it's not budging. You might as well try your house key just in case. Okay. That isn't your locker. Are you sure that's a locker? That's it's not a locker. That's an entire house. Move. Your house keys are on back. You should try that before giving up completely. Okay. Alright, you know what? This is just getting horrible. Oh. Actually, do you think I can just... Nah, that ain't gonna work.
we're back over here, I'm sorry. You should try that before giving it up completely. Okay. Can we look into the letter? Well, it's a letter from your mailbox, so you don't recognize your name. Must be a past resident. Let's just move on. Next, the door. Hop down the steps and head back to the street. <laughs> It's your street, but things don't look quite how you left it. For example, there's an enorm enorm enormous creepy mansion where your house should be. The wash? No, I'm not moving to the wash. Not going on the right. Backyard, move to the backyard. You creep along the side of your fence into the backyard. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat, a peaceful, quiet blanket, the enclosure. Toy truck, let's take it. Toy truck in the bag with the rest of the stuff. A toy dino, take. I don't tear back. Might be useful later. Spade take. You brush off the dirt and take the spades into your thing. Open. This door should lead right into the laundry room, but it's locked, unfortunately. All right. To move in there, we should lead right into the laundry room. What's locked? What's wrong? Should be sorted. Girl. Just the grill. Get out of here. This is Charma Spirit Early All Time Grilling System. Huh. Out front, we are keep around the side of the house. Back to the street. The street but things again for the Okay. Move, move further down the street to stand in front of what used to be your house. Charge caution. Mm -hmm. Whistles through the bare branches. Very spooky. Mm -hmm. Next door. You hop down the steps and head back to the street. Oh, I moved down. Then what am I supposed to do here? Wait, hold on. And it actually turns out there are some problems too big for a shovel to solve. What about we use the toy dino on the sidewalk? Roar! The toy makes a close one and shake it. Okay. Use this on the sidewalk. You roll the truck along the ground and make them the toy like Coupons. The coupons, my father, okay, aren't it so sore that I accept those coupons? Oh, maybe the blue rose. Hold the rose in front of your face and breathe deeply through your nose. Ah, the creeps. I said use on sidewalk, yeah. Ah, creeps. Mailbox is open there. So then how do I get to my end? Uh, I'll be back with you guys when I find something, okay? Back, guys. It took me about like 40, 40 minutes. I've been playing this game for over like, what, two hours by now? Let's take this top hat I found though. Of course, you make a top hat disappear into your back. Do you think I can wear it? Use. The scarecrow. Too small, there's not space. 
Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.